today I'm going to take an actual tour of the palace. Well, not inside the palace, but around the grounds. If you don't take a tour, you can only walk around the moat area. You can't get inside. And the tour is twice a day, both Japanese and English, and it's free. Well worth it. This is a map of the Imperial Palace, and you will see that not only Japanese is written, but also English, so it'll give you an idea. So usually this tour, this is the waiting room before it starts. The tour usually takes up to 300 people at a time, but today it's just might actually have a private tour. There's only two people. There's a map in your guidebook and the red line, the red dotted line is where the tour is gonna go. So before the tour starts, there will be a video of the route we will take. The original one was destroyed and this was built after the great Earth Kanto earthquake. So it's still quite old. It's about 14.5 meters high. And from the top window up there, you can see Mount Fuji. This veranda here is over 100 meters long. It's very low actually, but in this area, during the New Year's holidays, the emperor and his family come out on this balcony. They stand there and wave. And on TV, this veranda looks really high, but it's not. It's only maybe three, a couple meters high, three, four meters high, but it looks higher on TV and when it's really crowded here. You see those little, they look like hills. It's fake. They're fake hills. Inside those hills, there are like ladders and stuff, so they're not, they're hollow. This part, you don't need any kind of reservation or anything, and it's free, and you can just go in. Otemon gate. Mon actually means gate, so it says Otemon mon. No drones, no bicycles, no animals, and no drinking alcohol. The moat here is quite green. Once again, the circulation in this moat is not so good and difficult to keep clean. So this is Otemon. And it was the main gate for the Edo castle. So through the big doors, the lords could come through that, but usually they were closed and anyone else would have to come through the smaller side doors. It's actually quite impressive the size of this. This one is it's the largest of the guard houses. There's a lot of information here, a lot of history that you can learn, and luckily it is all translated into English. So I recommend walking around the park, well, the gardens, and reading everything you can find. Ninomaru Garden. So in here is one of the many gardens that is inside the Imperial Palace grounds. Okay, so I'm in these woods back here in the middle of the city inside the Imperial grounds and I thought it would be really short but but no no it's quite large the woods here. 
and the groundskeepers all came in this morning. I saw them. There must have been, you know, a hundred people who come in every day to take care of the grounds. Incredible. Well, that was a view of the Imperial Palace grounds, the gardens, and all different history. So I hope you enjoyed it. I really recommend taking the tour. They have guides in English and they're free. And it's a really good experience to learn a bit about the Japanese history. So until next time, mata ne!